Flareal has been updated to 1.21. Which of course is great, and to get it, you can simply click on the link in the description, which is this one right over here, and that's automatically going to start the download. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Flareal Installer, which is great. I can simply double click on this, and that is going to open up the Flareal Installer as you can see. You also don't need to worry about this being unsafe, because Flareal is actually completely open source, which of course is fantastic. Anyways, now that it has been finished installing, we can actually delete the installer if you want to because we don't need it anymore. Now I'll close my downloads and I can just search for Flareal over here for example. As you can see, there it is. I can click on that and that is going to open up the Flareal launcher. As you can see, here we have a Flareal client. I can simply click on launch just like so and what that's going to do is automatically open up Minecraft with Flareal inside of it. As you can see, Flareal on top, and we have the notification that Flareal has been injected successfully, which of course is great. I'm now just going to head into a Minecraft world, and I'll show you exactly how to use this. So here inside of Minecraft, you might have already seen on the notification, but you can press on K, and that is going to open up this area right over here. Here we have all of the modules or utilities that this client has. As you can see, you can scroll and that way find and locate more utilities. We have a general settings tab up here as well, as well as an edit menu, which we'll get to in a second. Anyways, for all these utilities, you can click on the red button and that's going to enable them. You can click on it once again to disable them. You can also click on this settings cog and that's going to give you a little bit of a customization menu for that specific utility. As you can see, some of them do have more customization than others. Anyways, with Flareal, there's two main types of utilities. One changes stuff in game, and the others show up on your screen. For stuff that changes in game, I can do the zoom, for example. I'll enable this real quick, and as you can see, the keybind to zoom is C. So, for an example of this, as you can see, I can zoom right here. In the customization settings area, you can choose how much to zoom, um, and as well as the dampening and all of that, of course. But that is basically how the things work that edit things in game. For example, here I can choose to enable or disable animations or automatically say GG in chat. Now, there are also things that are actually going to show up on your screen. For example, the inventory HUD, the frames per second, and the coordinates. I'll enable all of those right now, and as you can see, these are all going to be just by default in the middle of my screen. I can then go to the edit menu, or actually press on L, and here I can actually move these around. As you can see, I do already have my coordinates on screen right there, but I can move this one, as you can see, to wherever I want it to be, and same thing for the FPS. And this big thing right here is my armor HUD. There's nothing in it because I don't have any armor on, but I can move that to a place where I want it as well. Anyways, now I've located all these on my screen as I wanted them to be, so I can press on escape. And now, as you can see inside of Minecraft, I have my frames and as well as my coordinates. Although my coordinates are double now, but this is just to show you how it works. In your inventory, you'll get a little bit of a flareal watermark. Now I've put some armor in my inventory. As you can see, I have some armor over here, and you can see that these are now all going to show up right on my screen as well. Of course, opening the menu up once again, there's a bunch of things you can choose from here, and I recommend that you check them out yourself. Maybe some of them you want to use, maybe some of them you don't. You can actually hover above them as you can see, and that's going to give you a little bit of a description of what the utilities are. And if you're looking for something specific, then you can search right up there, of course. That was it for Flareal. Pretty basic client, but it works really, really well, and I definitely highly recommend it. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.